Hey Vikes, I'm Cadence. And I'm Dave, and you're watching SVTV. Now, here are your daily announcements. There will be several international students coming to the Seaman area that are needing host families. If you are interested in hosting an international student for the 2021-2020 school, school year, text Schoology for more information. Tonight at 6 p.m., there will be an online meeting for all sophomore and junior students who are interested in participating in next year's close-up trip to Washington, D.C. If you are Interested in trying out for the improv class here at Seaman High School, there will be an improv clinic after school on Tuesday, May 11th. Check Schoology for more information. Current freshmen interested in joining the Writing Center should submit their virtual application by Wednesday, May 19th at 3.05 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Sands in room W7. If you are interested in joining the Viking Brew Coffee Shop crew for the 2021-2022 school year, See Miss Dowling in room W9. Now on to a quick commercial break before we see what new mask guidelines the CDC has. Senior week starts on Monday. This is what you need to know. Finals will take place from the 11th to 13th along with laptop check-ins. Alternate transportation day is on Thursday. Meet at Mother Teresa at 7 and prepare to drive down 50th. Later on Thursday will also be the night at the tennis courts. Make sure and bring your lawn chairs. Friday morning is the final run through the halls, followed by graduation practice and the cookout. Good luck on your final week, seniors. A TikTok challenge called Just Because is being held. To enter, you must create a TikTok video and somewhere within it, say the phrase Just Because in your video. If you are interested in entering the challenge, make sure when creating your video that it is school appropriate and that you include the hashtag Just Because KS as well as tagging Just Because KS. If you win this challenge, you will receive a free t-shirt along with chances to win other prizes. If interested, make sure to be quick as submissions are only being taken up until Wednesday, May 12th. Why is your mask down? Why not? We're in a global pandemic. You should seriously be wearing your mask. Well, okay. Don't be like Olivia. Wear your mask right. Recently, towards the end of April, the CDC released new mask guidance for fully vaccinated Americans. This new guidance was announced by Joe Biden. Here's a clip of him making the announcement. Starting today, if you're fully vaccinated, and you're outdoors, you need, and not in a big crowd, you no longer need to wear a mask. As you can see from that clip, the new mask guidance from the CDC is that you no longer have to wear a mask outside if you're fully vaccinated unless you're in a large crowd. As for indoor mask rules, all the same rules from before still apply, and everyone must wear their mask even if you're fully vaccinated. Hopefully, with this news of people being able to remove their mask in more situations will lead us closer to the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's been a rough year, but we made it through all the challenges that were thrown at us. Make sure to stay well and stay safe. Now, back to your anchors. Now on to sports. Today at 1.15, Jack Horacek will sign a letter of intent to run track and cross country at Kansas Wesleyan in Salina. Congratulations, Jack. Tomorrow, Tuesday, May 11th at 1.15, Isabel Freisberg will sign a letter of intent to cheer at Fort Hayes State University. Congratulations, Isabel. The Lady Vikes track team had another good day at the Joe Scrag City Invitational Track Meet. Good job, ladies. Any student that had a physical done at the Cotton O'Neill Clinic on May 1st, please stop by the please stop by athletics and see Ms. Chure. She has paperwork for you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.